You're watching Enterprise Nation TV with O2 Business. Well, I'd say there are probably two or three. One is if you're exporting goods, um, you have to look at the shipping costs. Um, I do hear it said that the shipping costs for moving goods from Great Britain across the Irish Sea uh, to Ireland can surprise people sometimes. So make sure you've done your homework with all that and you know your costs. That's important. I think second thing, and this must apply to pretty much to every British company engaged in exporting anywhere around the world, is you have to look at the currency fluctuations and the currencies. So at the moment, uh, actually, uh, this is a good period because sterling is a bit Pressed, or of course, lower than it has been for a while against the euro, and um, I think this is this is another opportunity right now for British uh, exporters to Ireland. But of course, that can change. Um, so I think we just need to, to keep an eye out on Ireland for all sorts of things. Mm. And then I think uh, it's important that British companies take the time to get to know the Irish clients and customers. And this is, a, this is not somewhere where you walk into a meeting and you say, I've got five things to tell you, and you go, boom, 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 thank you very much, and leave. I think um, people need to be conscious that in, in Ireland, people like to get to know who you are, they like to know your family circumstances, they like to know a bit of your hinterland, they like to chat about what you've been doing, where you've been on holiday, what the weather's doing today, all this sort of thing. And, you know, this won't stop you getting down to business, but it's an important, important process of establishing trust. And I think um, you know we shouldn't be too uh, task focused when we when we first come here. We, we should take some time to get to know people, and that's maybe a cultural difference uh, between the two countries that's important for people to bear in mind.